welcome to my easy statistics this video is a structure equation modeling using amos part 12 in this video we will be testing null hypothesis using multiple model analysis for this we are taking an example which i discussed in my previous video in the previous video we discussed about the model fit and we discussed about testing null hypothesis using chi-square and a degree of freedom. Now I am going to use multiple model analysis for testing a null hypothesis. The same example I use but the method for accepting or rejecting null hypothesis is multiple model analysis. Okay, this example way we have been tested with exploratory factor analysis i want to calculate estimates and view output let me see the model fit once again discrepancy is accepted because it's less than five goodness of fit i have shown earlier okay the model is fit and if you see the estimates is all are significant covariance is also significant now let me call this model as a model now what i do is i will take one more model called as b model in that model i will maintain the covariance between perceived behavior to attitude as a zero now we know that a model is correct now I am going to compare with, with if A model is correct, can B model be correct? Okay, if B model is correct, then there is a covariance. There is no covariance between perceived behavior to attitude. So this is how we can conclude. Let me go with the analysis uh, settings. So what I am saying is this model which I have, I want to call it as model A. For doing this, I am clicking here. You can check my previous videos where I discussed about multiple group analysis and multiple model analysis. I am calling it as model A. Click new. We will have model B. Close it. So here you can see there are two models, model A and model B. Now model A is a one model with exploratory factor analysis already we discussed the model is fit. In model B, I want to maintain the covariance between perceived behavior to attitude as zero. So let me give a label for this. <clears throat> Double click on that. Call it as C. C is a covariance. CV is a covariance. Now let me go for model B. Double click on this model. In this I want to maintain covariance is equal to 0. Fine. Now, in model A, I don't have any constraint. But if I go for model B, I have a constraint that is covariance between perceived behavior to attitude is made as 0. That is, there is no covariance between perceived behavior to attitude. Now, let me execute. Calculate estimates. View output path diagram. Okay. If I go for model A, the covariance between perceived behavior to attitude is 0 0.32. But model B, it is 0 because we maintain that constraint now i want to compare these two models for comparing let me go for view text in this hierarchy i have model comparison and i have model fit just let me look once towards model fit a model is having minimum discrepancy but b model is not having minimum discrepancy okay 
degree of freedom 1 it is becoming 2 but chi square has increased by 102.418 okay now if i see the goodness of fit also for model a it is 0 0.998 model b is 0 0.895 Okay, it is understood that model A is fit and it is correct. Let me compare using model comparison. Now, this is very important to understand how to come to a conclusion. Assuming model A to be correct, if model B is correct, P value should be greater than 0 0.6. I repeat, assuming model A to be correct, model B is also correct if P value is greater than 0 0.6. But in our case, P value is 0 0.00. So, P value is not greater than 0 0.6 but it is less than 0 0.6 so model b is not correct so what I, what is the assumption we are going decision we are going to come assuming model a to be correct model b is not correct but what is model b is specifying there is no covariance between perceived behavior control to attitude that is wrong so, I am rejecting the null hypothesis. If you have a null hypothesis specifying, there is no covariance. I am rejecting it. It means there is a covariance between perceived behavior to attitude. This we are going to come to a conclusion with the help of model comparison. In model comparison, if model A is correct, model B is not correct means if you say there is a zero covariance between perceived behavior control to attitude that is not correct so the null hypothesis is rejected so this is how we can test a null hypothesis using multiple model analysis i wish this video is informative and useful for your analysis thank you